At a time when homeowners are questioning oil and gas companies about fracking, SMU researchers are offering some answers about what is causing earthquakes. Researchers say oil and gas operations are to blame, at least in certain places. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga is digging into what those scientists are reporting. Deanna. Well, you know, Steve, researchers believe they've pinpointed the reasons behind those earthquakes felt west of Fort Worth, saying they can rule out drought as a cause and instead say certain oil and gas operations are behind the shaking. Just the whole house shaking. Just the windows kind of rattle a little bit. Just north of Reno in Parker County, a couple of neighbors remember the quakes they felt in late 2013 and early 2014. When we felt that, we didn't know what to expect after that, if they were going to continue or and don't know where it's coming from. Today we're here to address the Azel study. Scientists from SMU, UT and the U.S. Geological Survey just published a study of quakes in that area. Our conclusion is that the most probable cause of seismicity in this region uh, has to do with the oil and gas activities in the Azel Reno area uh, during the last few years. The scientists pinpoint the process of pulling natural gas and water from the ground and injecting the leftover waste and water into a separate well, saying that's what's put stress on fault lines that intersect deep underground. Well, it starts at the bottom here and goes all the way up to the ceiling. The results of this study didn't surprise Reno Mayor Linda Stokes, who says the quakes caused damage even at City Hall. I've been saying it all along. The citizens have been saying it. And it's kind of nice to hear SMU come back with this. The researchers at SMU today caution their study can't be used to explain all earthquakes in our area and acknowledge there are thousands of wells that aren't associated with earthquakes. But for Mayor Stokes, this study, she says, may make the industry take notice. We have to find a better way to do this, whether it's, uh, it doesn't, I mean, we still need the oil and the gas industry, and I understand that. The Texas Oil and Gas Association says it does need to look more closely at the study, digging into the model researchers used and the scientific assumptions behind that model. The Texas Railroad Commission, which regulates the oil and gas industry in Texas, is asking the scientists to provide a briefing back to its own staff. Steve? Okay, so though that information you passed along west of Fort Worth. Uh, how about the ones near the old Texas state of Irving, Dallas? What are we learning about those areas? Well, you know, Steve, Irving and Dallas are being studied separately. Scientists say they have to look at each area independently. The geological differences alone, they say, would impact what they find. Back okay, so one doesn't necessarily affect the other at this point, and we'll wait for the findings on Irving, Dallas. Thank you, Deanna.